Welcome back to another Interstereo session. We're here at Factory Studios and this is Rosie Plain with Trouble. Thank you. 
That was Rosie playing with Trouble. Um, here we are on the Factory Studio sofa. Um, welcome back to Bristol. Thank you very much. Been a while since you've been here. Yes. Well, I mean, I was actually here the other day. Oh, well done. Yeah, <laughs> cheating, maybe. But, um, um, how has um, it all been? You've just uh, pretty much just finished the tour um, yeah. promoting the new record. Yeah, yeah. It's been really nice. The shows have been really, really nice. So um, how's the response been to uh, the new record? It's, it's a lot more um, it's a lot more introspective than sort of some previous stuff. What's uh, What's the general sort of vibe for the whole record from your point of view? Well, yeah, it's funny because I feel like it's sort of being... Now it's out, I am sort of getting a better under, understanding of what it's like because sort of, I sort of feel like I'm the wrong person to know what it's like or something. You sort of... Sometimes I think, oh, my God, this song is absolutely pounding. And then yeah. people are like, oh, that was so relaxing. Thanks, that was lovely. Um, so it's, it's funny how... Um, me and other people hear my songs. <laughs> it's, um, you're a serial collaborator. Um, how much of the collaborative process has been involved with the actual uh, construction of the record? Um, presumably you write everything yourself. And then what happens then? Have you got a collective of musicians? Or? Um, yeah, so I like write sort of the songs pretty much. I mean, yeah, I write the songs apart from one of them is a cover of Sun Ma on there. Then, yeah, there's a few sort of regular team members that um, I play with, like Jamie on the drums and Amory and Gerard. And, uh, yeah, we did the last record together. They're so great to work with and sort of I have so much sort of trust in their ideas and what they do that it's things really sort of open out with them. Then, yeah, for this as well, I played a lot with Rachel, who was just playing with me then. Um... Because, yeah, we sort of play quite a bit, just sort of just the two of us sometimes if we're doing a smaller show. And um, and Raphael played a lot on the album as well. He played loads of guitar. And, yeah, there's a lot of people in it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really exciting to sort of um, open stuff out to other people's brains. Fantastic. So quite a lot of you seem to be focused around um, a studio in North London. How important is that for you as, a, as an artist? And do you think that the, the broader music community benefits from collaborative work like that? Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a like really inspiring place. It's like, um, it's really sort of encouraging. And just because it sort of has such a sort of high traffic of people, a lot of people meet each other and, and sort of, yeah, maybe like people sort of crossing paths with in sort of with people that they might not have played with before something just because there's sort of people around hearing each other's stuff and uh and yeah it's just a really sort of proactive community yeah, that's nice big open floor policy yeah <laughs> excellent um it was recorded in a number of different places mm. i think i understand some of it was done in chicago mm -hmm. uh, some more in america why why is it such a, a cross-continental process for you at the moment well i didn't think I'm going to record it in millions of different places like initially we were just going to do it all at um, the Total Refreshment Centre where we did the last one but yeah we did a sort of like week's worth of recording and then I sort of um, just wanted to do some more I felt like um, I sort of I got rid of a couple of the songs I sort of yeah went off some of them we lose some along the way <laughs> uh, yeah we do lose some along the way yeah it's so funny you're like oh I've got loads of songs oh I've got no songs but um do you ever accidentally revisit them and think actually maybe that was a good idea and and come back yeah, to things yeah it's or? cool when sometimes you sort of yeah as some like or you just sort of something starts being played in a different way and it becomes a different thing but yeah like um but also I and uh, Jamie the drummer who's not here play um in a band called This Is The Kit and over the last couple of years we've been on tour loads and so so we did a bit of recording like while we were on tour with This Is The Kit and because that sort of an efficient use of Proper time. Tour, boys, tour bus recording, it's always entertaining. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we did lots of sort of um, editing of the songs because yeah, because it, it sort of was recorded over quite a long period of time. A lot of stuff got added onto it, and then um, by the time it came to the mixing, we took quite a lot of stuff off again. Reduce it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, but I think you know you've got to go through the adding everything on so you can take it off. You've got to go through the uh, through the mess before you find the clean bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Next song's called Symmetrical. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? This song is called Symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And it's the same forwards as it is backwards. It's the same <laughs> forwards it's not, it's as not it there. is backwards. It's a palindrome. It's a. This is my favourite song on the record. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, this is Rosie Blaine with uh, Symmetrical. Subscribe to Instereo Sessions for more videos like this.